Casey, Casey, Parker. So the answer is one. Well, let's give a step up to the two of you, please. The one that you're going to put the hands together for them. They're two. Hallelujah. Invited by Denny's girl. Their mommy, where's Denny's girl? Put your hands together for her. Put your hands together for her. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a shot to your right. Invited by Denny's girl also. Put your hands together for her. Yeah, this is the name of Jesus. Oh, and also, Miss Denise Gordon is a first time visitor and she's invited by Sister Malcolm, missionary Michelle Salman. Put your hands for her. And then, this name of Jesus. And then we have Diana. Put off. Put your hands together for her. For Welcome back to the doctor. Oh, put your hands together for her. Put your hands together. We have Shandalee from Cousin Stone. We have Shandalee. Put your hands together for her. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, bless the Lord, somebody. Come on, bless the Lord, somebody. In the name of Jesus, we have Ella Wright, is that correct? Put your hands together for her, she's from the Young Southern Park Spiritual Church, East Road Kids, so put your hands together for her. And in the name of Jesus, we have Bishop Mackenzie, Overseer Mackenzie, Pastor McBee, Pastor Dyron, Deacon Linda, and Saints from the Celestial Apostolic House of God. Put your hands together for Bless the name of Jesus, come on, worship the Lord. Come on, bless the name of Jesus, somebody. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Then sacred water works in the house. Sacred water works, just jump up with the heart. And we just got saved with our Lord's food. Come on, let's do it on that man. Sacred our broken in the house. Sacred our great chill in the house. Bless the name of Jesus, sacred our job is playing in the house. Bless the name of Jesus, sacred our blend of God in the house. Amen. Sacred our Monty Gobe in the house. Sacred our little London in the house. Oh, put your hands together for the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Sacred our prospects. Oh, sacred our prospects in the house, blessed the name of Jesus.
Tony Christopher God Jr. Who's kind of here? I'll be a pastor for me. Bless the name of Jesus. It wasn't easy for me to stand here. Bless the name of Jesus. You know, I'll come through this man of God and God. Come on, bless the name. Put your hands together for him one more time. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. We're going to hear the word. Bless the name of Jesus. We're going to hear the word. We're going to hear the word. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Give us a few announcements. We have Bronta. Bless the name of Jesus. We'll be having here tonight. Servant. Bless the name of Jesus. Come in the 24th, bless the name of Jesus. And if you have any current, bless the name of Jesus. Amen. And conference, bless the name of Jesus. Department conference, bless the name of Jesus. Wednesday, this week, bless the name of Jesus. And Sunday, come in with the local conference. Bless the name of Jesus. Come and worship the Lord so much. And the things that time is moving slowly to this this month. Yes, I will do that. Bless the name of Jesus. Come and worship the name of Jesus. Come and worship in the name of Jesus. Bless God, bless God, and we'll be notified. Yes, and there's a table that's going to be here. Thanks for the table for our dear sister Kim. In the best name of Jesus, we, a Friday of this week, we need their support. So bless the name of Jesus. Come and worship in the name of Jesus. Come and bless the name of Jesus. Come and bless the name of Jesus. In the best God, at this time, bless God. Please pay attention to the apps. Yes. Yes. The table is so 12. It's, so we start at 12 noon. Bless the name of Jesus. So come on now and let us support her. The bless the name of Jesus. Come on, bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord. Yes. Yes. The apps is not there for us time. Bless the name of Jesus. Because many of us not paying attention to the apps. Still need to. And the best we're going to hear from. Bless the name of Jesus. Please stand up away. Please stand up away. Bless God. Amen. Our Bishop Mackenzie, bless the name of Jesus, who will come in to pave the way for the preacher. Put your hand together and also to introduce the man of our two church in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for him. Come on. Pave the way for the preacher, also to introduce him to the church in Jesus' name. Hey, somebody give God a praise. Give God a praise. I am telling you, definitely want to sleep. I never go to my bed till 4 o'clock this morning. Wake up about 6. But I'm still here. Amen. I am excited to be here. You know why? It's my people down there.
was something about this young man. Hallelujah. During the time I was so sick. But it means. Hallelujah. It means the business. During his studying. He don't forget anything when he come to church. Fasting. He will put it off and do fasting. The teacher will come. They will complain. But trust me, at the end of it, his habit will be 98.5 or something here. Walk on it. Put off a lot of stuff for God. But when it comes to the end, he's the winner.
God will only appoint it. Blessed be to God. He's going to preach. I have never teached him. I teach this young man. This is my son. I'm going to be honest. I never teach him. I only guide him. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He has a name that they give him from his mom. A very unusual name from my mom. When this child come, my mom leaves the stairs and she bring something for it. And he said, name him off to your name in your feet. And my mom said, you will be the head and not the tail. And this evening I represent my son to you. I call him Yofi. My name is Sophia. Amen. His name is Desdale Mackenzie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bring forth it to you in the name of Jesus. Just to let you 
God. Hallelujah. But because this is the Sunday was actually made for a Sunday of praise. Amen. Because we are now rejoicing that the grave is empty. Hallelujah. Just turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, couple days back, the enemy put the six feet under. This morning, they came back. But the grave is empty. What I don't understand that they put me under the gap, but around uh, five o'clock this morning, the candle tilt over on my name and burn it up. So the power that was set to burn me is now destroyed. That's why I am rejoicing. They put my name in the graveyard, but a mongrel dog was hungry and he went and scratched it up. So that's why I am rejoicing. Because he's not dead. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. You may be seated. I know you're happy. First, let us give honor and to God. Who is the head of my life? Then to my mother, Bishop Mackenzie, to Bishop Ray Foster, to all the other bishops, my pastor, pastor, and my friend, Pastor God. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus, Mother God, oh man. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love to see Mother Bill move in the spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Young people, I greet you with a special greeting this evening. Amen. Amen. Bishop, you should have been here a bit earlier. You would have heard your young children today. Amen. Amen. I felt the anointing. It was wonderful. Amen. Praise God. There was a young man when the Holy Ghost licked me. Amen. I don't remember the name. Amen. But he was found uh, as son of the apostolic anointing. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. It was good. Amen. And today we're on to a powerful theme. Keep in thee the word of God. And don't forget. Tell your neighbor, don't forget. Don't forget. His testimony. And we're looking at this book, the book, one of the book of prophecy. Amen. And this book talk of things that is to come. Praise God. No, the revelation can be defined. Amen. Is the disclosure of divine or secret reality or purpose to humanity. Amen. In the religious view, such disclosure, amen, may come to mystical insights, historical events, or spiritual experiences that transform the lives of individuals. Amen. Revelation comes from the Greek, from the first word of the book in Kayun Greek, amen, which is apocalypse which means unveiling bless the name of Jesus now the book of Revelation was written sometime about 96 CD amen in Asia Minor praise God the author of this book is John the Apostle also called John the Revelator amen John the Divine and John the Theologian praise God Hallelujah. Revelation. Now the purpose, amen, of this book, amen, the revelation of Jesus Christ was given to John by God to show his servant what must soon take place. This book is full with mysteries, amen, about things to come. 
It is a final warning that the world will surely end. And judgment will be certain. Praise God. I love to declare the book. Amen. Before I go into the word. Amen. I promise you today, you will receive a word. Amen. It is my first time preaching here and I want to leave in an impression. Praise God. Hallelujah. It gives us a tiny glimpse of heaven and all its glories awaiting those who keep their robes white. Amen. Revelation take us through the great tribulation with all its woe and the final fire that all believers will face for eternity. Amen. The book the fall of Satan and the doom he and his angels are bound for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So the book of Revelation, amen, it gives a prophecy that is to come. And I, 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 I am sure when I listen to the testimonies that I get to understand that you guys testify in the past tense. Amen. He said that the man of God told you last week, and it happened this week. He told you last year, and it happened this year. Amen. That is what a revelation is like. Amen. And many of us have received revelations in our lives. Amen. And the revelation had played out, but because we have the spirit of ungratefulness, amen, we desire not to testify of the power of God. Praise God. Revelation is the book of prophecy. Amen. It was actually written to the seven churches. Amen. In Asia. Hallelujah. The book of Revelation was also written to, co to convert the alleged Christians as they underwent persecutions at the hands of emperor and an emperor known as Nero. Amen. So the reason why John, amen, the writer of this book, amen, was in exile is because of the empire that oppressed the church. The apostle John was on the Isle of Patmos after the empire Nero exiled him for preaching the gospel. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is to say that even sometime when you testify of God's glory, some people are going to put you down. Tell you to stop the line. Stop. Stop showing off. But what I love, Bishop, is that after Amen. They put the man on the Isle of Patmos, expecting him to die. He arose with new testimony. Simple to say that each time the enemy, amen, enter into your life, try to put you down. The enemy don't know that they are giving you a new testimony. Amen. So I can explain to you. You are a floor member. You shall move on the night in a party as you can. You get a straight gun. Nothing added to it. Just a straight white gun. See? The anointing move again. Somebody trouble you. And you come with a better sermon. The bishop move and then put it to a pastorship. Now you have a straight gun and something over the straight gun and a shawl. It's a new look. And the new look signifies a new power. No, when you become a past and the burden become a bit heavier, amen, something else greater happen, they get move. And this move, the color of your own change. And it changes from white to purple. Thank you. 
Amen. To a higher rank of bishopship. And each time you move, you're going to change. Your looks change. And not only your looks change, your talking change. Uh, your spiritual level change. Because God has now given you the eyes to look over the flock. Uh, turn to your friend. Sorry, turn to your friend. And say, friend, if you're here, Amen. I actually mean your enemy. Sorry about that. Hallelujah. Amen. The theme. And when I was looking at the theme, and I was looking in Revelation, I was puzzling. Amen. I was studying. And there are some key words. Amen. In the theme. That I want to point out to you. The first one is keep. Which means have or retain possession. Or the thought to continue in a specified con condition, position, or course. Amen. 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 And the next one is word. Which actually means a command. A password or a signal. The next word that I look at was forget, which simply means feel to remember. Hallelujah. And the last one was testimony. Evidence or proof of something. Which means it repeat, it return, and it do it again. So what you need to understand that each time you give a testimony and you give the evidence, what God do is to repeat the next thing, return it, and do it again. But while I was looking, amen, in the word, in the book of Revelation, if you have a Bible, you can turn with me to Revelation chapter 1. Reading from verse 1 to verse 2. And it reads thus, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and sign it by, by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Bless the name of Jesus. Now, while I was studying the scripture, I was personally. Amen. Out of all the Christians in that time, why, amen, would Jesus or God decide to give this type of anointing to John? Amen. So I went on a little journey, Bishop. And I get to understand that John and Jesus had a close relationship. Amen. John is an eyewitness of every miracle that Jesus had done. Praise God. And I got to understand, amen, that John, Jesus met this young man one day while he was fishing. Him and his brother James at Galilee. And while they were fishing, Bishop, things didn't go on so right. Because they fish for night and no one happened. Anybody come to church and throw a seat of faith and no one happened. Sometimes you say, Why do you want to be a waste of an angel of a right tell you? And no one happened. But in the morning, Jesus came. And he said, cast your net. 
on the other side. And when they they, 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 they think about it and they was like, cast my net on the other side. What the man is what this man is saying to me. But they believe. And they cast the net on the other side. Even the Bible says that there was enough fish. Amen. The boat couldn't hold it. And one word Jesus turned to them and said, What I needed to do now is to follow me and become fishers of man. And that was where the friendship of John, Amen, and Jesus began. If you look, Amen, on the picture of when the Passover of Jesus and his twelve disciples breaking the communion, you will see this man raising his head on Jesus' bosom. That's John. That was a type of friendship that Jesus and John had. Amen. John was the youngest apostle of them all. So in the time that John received this word, Amen, he was the only Amen apostle left because everybody they killed them or wiped them out because of the word because of the testimony of Christ hallelujah and after this John and Jesus become such close men he was the one amen that I witness the miracle amen and the rising of the dead John was the one that saw Jesus transfigured upon the mountain. Hallelujah. So John and Jesus had a sort of friendship. So the type of friendship that they had when Jesus was about to be crucified. The Bible says, further study states rather, that John he stood there from nine o'clock in the morning. And he looked steadfast into Jesus' eyes. Straight up till 12 o'clock, he man no move. Jesus 
had to come to John in a certain way to give him this prophecy. Because if Jesus had come to John in a regular form, Jesus wouldn't have had time to speak the prophecy. Because he would have rolled the hook up to Jesus because a long time he not see him. But the Bible says in the book of Revelation that when John saw Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, he said, Behold, he come with clothes, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him, and all the kindred of the earth shall wail because of him. Hallelujah. When John, amen, saw Jesus, Jesus came in his princely form. The actual form that he looked like in heaven. Jesus came to John. Hallelujah. And when he came to John, the Bible said, Amen. That he saw him. And when he saw Jesus, Jesus was wearing a full white robe. And his loins was girded with gold. He saw him and his hair was white as wool. Hallelujah. As white as snow. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like fine brass. And his voice as the sound of many waters. In his right hand he all the seven stars. O oh God, and out of his mouth pursue a sword, a two-edged sword. Amen. And his countenance was as the sun in his prime. So this is to say, Amen, that the reason why Jesus had to come to John in this form is because if John saw Jesus in his regular state that he knew in has, the prophecy would not come forth. But the man received a prophecy. Not only that John was the secretary of the church, he bear record. And this is the reason why Jesus said to him, write these things that I am about to tell you. So I'm coming off, John, I'm going to your theme now. Keep in thee the word of God. Forget and don't forget his testimony. Praise God. So the king, they put John on the Isle of Patmos, which means mortal flesh. Bless the name of Jesus. Expecting him, amen, to lose his prayers. Expecting him to lose his anointing. Hey, 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 what hey little girl? Something like that. Yes. Them to touch. And I was wondering why. Why that song? And the Holy Ghost revealed it because many a times when in the church, even me as young minister, some old people, they will come, amen, and try to allow you them, them to touch. <laughs> Hallelujah. to keep the testimonies of God in your heart. Yes. Hallelujah. And once you keep God's testimonies, you will be reminded of how powerful He is. Yes. 
you will be reminded that he is a healer. You will be reminded that he is a deliverer. You will be reminded that he is a provider. Anybody in the church that knows Jesus. And the reason why many of us don't have a testimony is because we do not know Jesus. And if you know Jesus, you will have a testimony. And what Jesus is, Jesus is the word. And John says that in the beginning, Through the prophet. 
Let her give you my testimony. You see, when I was going to primary school, basic school rather, something happened to me, I could have lost my life when I was three years old. I remember the night I wake up. It was where my sister was living in Spanish town. And I wake up the night and I urinate on the side at the bed of my sister asleep and turn up and urinate money. And I said, I have to sleep the night. And I said, I said, I'm going to beat me. I said, I'm going to go to the road. And I said, no, I'm not going there. So I get up and I went into the couch under the window. My father came in from work, was just in time to take me up about five minutes out, a bottle boom job right where I was lying. Because I get to understand that I was born for a purpose. that I was born for a reason and the enemy didn't like the fact that my presence was on the earth so when they try that not even one scotch me again to the mix of it one bunch of the fire bunch of the slap and the only thing on my mind going over to my godmother's house because I never used to see teaching was a bull and a, and a box of subject was all of, that's the only snack I used to eat. And going over to my grandmother in the evening of fire, I'm going to I'm skipping. Me want to um, pull her some for change. <laughs> Not knowing that my life was at risk. <laughs> when the enemy sees that no work out, they go to school and never come last. Go to the street. And if we come last, we have to sit up there because I read class meeting. Praise God. Amen. When I was now six, I was playing. And my right foot was standing there in a zig bathroom with my right foot itching. And it boosted. it. Doctor said to me, say, it's a 50-50% chance of me walking. Oh, yeah. Doctor called my mother and said, buy your son a wheelchair. But because the enemy know what God is about to use my feet to do. And Bishop, if the anointing was wrong with them, and I start to show the man's love, I tell you, somebody's going to be delivered. The enemy attacked the foot, but the foot is still here. The foot. I'm going to pick them out and clean my shoes. 
I realized that mommy could not find the money to buy snacks every week. I said, look here, mommy. Buy two pack of hot dog bread. Me tell her to do. I said to her, buy two pack of hot dog bread. Some hot dog. Blend carrot, beetroot, anything. Give me a freezing. I'm a pop me lunch cake. With $100. And a spoon me gone. Don't want to be a drunk or fish up. When we reach a school, you pick them out there and sew them. Come and give me an exchange or something like eating hot dogs, something like eat food. Because somebody don't want a food to eat, they want a hot dog to eat. So what else do they can't take his sword? What else do they give me his sword? 